Shut up and sit down. Hi guys, I'm Dodge. This is Big Mech's Workshop and Paint Studio, and this week we are painting Sons of the Phoenix. Just for something a little bit different. Um, we're painting the new models, the uh, Intercessors Assault Marines. I've separated the arms here, so I've primed all the white bits that look whitish. They are done in Israeli sand by Vallejo, and because it's Sons of the Phoenix, the entire right arm is purple, so I've just done that in Vallejo black primer, as I think I'll get a better result. So, the very first thing we did was we used Scale 75's Brown Grey, which is one of our new colours. There may be some problems with the colours showing up on this, as obviously I've got desk lights on, um, so I've altered the contrast and everything on here, so you can see that colour. I already really like this colour, it's similar to a Rakarth Flesh, and I can see it being used in a lot of our videos coming up soon. So we're basically going to cover the whole model in this for now. As you can see, you can see the colour difference there. Well, that's showing up not too bad. So scale 75 rainy grey is now going to be used. And we're going to start using that to pick out the highlighted areas. What I'm doing here on this video is I'm specifically putting quite a lot on in a short period of time. Because it's only going to be a short video. And just blodging it on there so you can see the colour difference. You'll see the change in a second. Now what we're going to do is use that rainy grey by scale 75 and add model colour sky grey to it. This way what we're doing is we're building up a, a palette of a creamy sort of a creamy white rather than a grey white uh, as obviously you don't want to use a white and if you look at the well we have a, a space marine poster with all the chapters on it and as we have a bunch of unpainted marines we thought we'd throw a bunch of these together we'll probably be doing the same thing for some of the necrons as well just so we can do uh, get more content out for you, as these are only 10 minute videos, so I can do the audio quicker, uh, paint them quicker. Now the next thing we're going to do, is we're going to make a wash, we're going to use two drops of Agraxa shade to one drop of Jushi Violet. Then I'm going to water it down with Life Color Thinner, uh, just to help it, you know, just to help it spread better. And uh, that's actually going to give it a really nice hue, and because of the Agrax in there and the touch of purple, it's really going to bring out those undertones that we've got. Next, we're going to go back to our rainy grey and sky grey, as the wash was to help blend all the previous colours together. Now we want to re-highlight some of the model with the uh, original colour, well the last colour that we used even. And obviously as you can see I've started blacking out some of the details, one of the reasons for this was what they needed doing, and secondly I wanted the camera to pick up the, uh, the model a little bit better. Next, we're using Games Workshop's Pallid Witch Flesh, which is a colour I don't use very often. I'm pretty much going to edge highlight with this. Um, I would recommend finding another equivalent because Pallid Witch Flesh goes really lumpy really quick and is not very good for edge highlighting. So, when it comes to the metallics, I didn't do too much with the metallics. I just started with Games Workshop's Retributor Armour. It's uh, nice and simple, obviously you want to keep that thin, but it is a base paint, so it should give some nice coverage there. And it's a really good start for this particular colour scheme. So, on to the uh, purple sections, we're going to start using Games Workshop's Zarius Purple. Now this is a layer paint, so it's going to take two or three thin layers to uh, build that up over the black. But... Colour wise, it's definitely a good match for what we can see on the photos. Or on the poster, even. Now, for the metallics, I decided to go for a model air metallic black metal. I will be highlighting that back up, and we will be putting a pin wash on this model as well with the oil, which uh, will really add the extra depth into it as well and really make it pop. Next, we're going to use that Zarius purple again, but we're going to add model colour purple into it to lighten it up a bit. It needs to be sort of a pinky purple. Purples can be really tricky to do uh, in general. Um, trying to get the one you want, it's, it's very difficult as it can always you know, get pushed off somewhere ever so slightly with adding the wrong colour in or the wrong mix. This is Reclam Flesh Shade Wash. 
I did water this down, but I ended up giving all the metallic parts two coats just to make them look a bit more regal and a bit more have a bit more warmth and depth to them. After that, I'm going to use Model Air Metallic Gun Metal and start highlighting all the other metallic parts. I wanted to keep that simple. I didn't even actually add a wash to those, I don't think, because we're going to use a pin wash. And because the black metal is so dark, once you highlight with this and you put the very black pin wash in, it looks like it's had a wash anyway. And the eyes... I didn't do them on camera, I basically just watered down some Yuri or Yellow by Games Workshop. Um, I couldn't be bothered to do too much with the eyes. Next we're going to use Games Workshop's Dryad Bark for the pouches. Which, in hindsight, was a little bit lighter than I wanted, but we're gonna we're, we are going to fix that in a second anyway. All in all, when it comes to the end, like by the end of this video, I was quite happy with the paint scheme, and it's a shame we're doing... Uh, salamanders now in the studio as the studio arm because these do look good I could see them looking really good on mass next is just model color purple on its own as you can see well I hope you can see it's starting to uh, bring out those colors there really start to change it to a, a pink from a uh, dark purple it's just glazing that glazing that on over and over again Then I think I have added a little bit, yes, it's model colour purple plus sky grey on this section. Which I put a little bit too much sky grey in it, made it a little bit too pink. Which uh, uh, made it a little bit patchy as well, it didn't transition very well. So I added some Drushi Violet as a, a wash and uh, the metallic had not set properly as well there. So um, ended up with a bit of pigment in the bottom of the gaps which is something that really does my head in but there you go uh, these things happen and uh, now we're going to use rhinox hide we're going to water that down to a wash consistency and go over the dryad bark that we've done and once this sets it's going to give a nice leathery effect because it was put on a, uh, a light color to begin with and as for the guns uh, for this chapter they're a bit weird they have a uh, red and black checkers on them so I started that with a corn red but if you're good with decals and you know a mate who's an orc player or you've got some yourself, you can just decal those across your weapons because they've always got checkered decals. Um, Gothor Brown is going to be used to then edge highlight all the uh, leather pouches. Again, I went for the warm reds there to contrast the, the cold whites and purples that we've got. Now I'm going to use Mephiston Red as the highlight. And I'll just start at the bottom of the gun and... Bring up your paint to the very top, so it just sits at the top there. After that, I'm going to use Games Workshop's Wasdaka Red and add a little bit of Sky Grey in there as well. To make a pretty cold edge highlight for a red. Uh, kind of worked, it still had a bit of a pink hue to it. And uh, I wanted to highlight that before I started putting the black checks in. Uh, just so it was done, make my life a little bit easier. Then we're going to use Scale 75's Black. Um, which is just, you can use any black, where well, this is quite thin, so it does enable you to freehand a little bit better, and then come back and tweak it. All I'm doing here for the checks is one at the top, one at the bottom, roughly about the same size. I'm not doing anything amazing with checks. If you want to see more detailed check work, you have to check out our uh, orc painting tutorials. Now to start bringing up the edges, of the purple armor, we're going to use Games Workshop's Warp Fiend Grey. And I think I'm using my Winsor Newton uh, double zero or triple zero here just to get a better edge. I wasn't sure what to do there with that uh, sword, so I just did it red. Uh, I could have gone for black, but it was just a, a color choice just to make it stand out a little bit more. Now we're going to use Army Painter Bright Gold which doesn't show up very much at all, um, not on the camera at least, but to the eye you can see the highlights. It's, um, to be honest, as metallic goes, I did shake it up a lot, but it's quite a a thick, buttery paint, so it's a bit hard to uh, you know, smudge those on there and get what you want. So possibly I should have used a scale 75, but I didn't have one about the right colour.
and just finishing off some of the simple touches now as it's only supposed to be a very short video we're going to use xv88 by games workshop to get those seals done all the uh, scripture on the seals then we're going to use games workshops caliban green for the seal as it will help we've got the reds on there and the purples so it should match that palette really nicely then we're keeping things really simple we're going to go zandri dust over the xv88 on the raised areas and when this is dry i will put on the appropriate wash i think i'd do that off camera though uh, which would be like an agrax earth shade and then just go back over with zandri dust and again with the Caliban green, I went over with Warboss green and then I used Biotan green as a wash and then went back over a little bit with a little bit more, more Warboss green. I didn't see the point in extending the video just to tell you that. So me and Andy are going to try and shorten some of our videos down a bit now and get more information uh, using audio than, you know, extending the video by showing you every single little bit of colour. Hopefully that will help our tutorials come across a little bit better. And here we have it. Nice and simple, that was nice and short, I quite enjoyed doing that, I like short videos, it's a lot less work, and this is One Sons of the Phoenix, um, I was quite happy with the uh, cream colours, although my edge highlighting, like I said, with a pallid witch flesh was a pain, but um, yeah, I think it came out alright, so you guys let us know what you think, uh, would you would you paint these guys what would be you, your preferred chapter as we are doing a bunch more, I think currently I am having a go at the Howling Griffins after this one. So there'll be a bunch of these coming out. So do hit like and hit that subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss any of these sort of a mini series of all the stuff from the Indominus box set. But we're going to keep throwing out different chapters and paint schemes. There really isn't that much more to say except obviously we wouldn't have been able to afford the Indominus box set if it wasn't for our patrons. You guys are absolutely amazing. If, you guys, if anyone else wants to join them and help out the channel... Every donation's welcome, and it does give you early access to all these other videos as well. So a big thank you to the Orp Boys, Matt, Ludwig Hofbauer, Dwak, Mark, Dave, Tom, Spiky Dude, Warren, and Ben. You are our top paying patrons. You guys are awesome. Without you, we couldn't have even been making this video. So thank you very much for that. Want to help support the channel and get cheap models and hobby supplies? Click the Element Games affiliate link in the description for 15 to 25% off. Use the promo code BIG223 on checkout to earn crystals, as crystals equal cash in your Element Games account that can be spent on your next purchase so everybody wins. Right, that is it for us. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, share with your friends, and if you've got any questions or just something to say, hit up those comments and we'll catch you in the next one.